Hello gents, I just got done making an awesome flagpole and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. First, a quick side story. So when I was a soldier in Iraq, I don't know, almost 20 years ago now, my dad wanted to have a flagpole in front of his house. Um, so he went flagpole shopping and found out that <clears throat> they're not cheap. So he decided to make his own and he came up with a recipe for a flagpole that he made. And it's the same recipe that I followed with only a few slight deviations. So let me walk you through this recipe. First, let me tell you the things you're gonna need to make this flagpole. You need two chain link fence top rail posts. They're 10 foot long each. They're approximately an inch and a quarter in diameter. Look at the sticker on this one. By the way, I got all this stuff at Lowe's if you're interested, you can probably get it all somewhere else too. You need a 12 inch nipple that's one and a quarter inch in diameter. You need two eye bolts, two carabiners. Optionally, you can get two of these quick links. I tried them, didn't really like how they worked, but you can mess with them and maybe you'll like how they work. You need a bag of post mix concrete. I ended up using a bag and a half, so depending on the size of the hole you dig, maybe you'll use one, between one and two bags. And of course you need an American flag. I looked for an American made American flag. It's really easy to find flags that aren't made in America and they're usually pretty crappy. So I tried to find the best American flag I could find. I really did want to get the very best one I could find. I researched it. And this flag from Allegiance Flag Supply um, looks like the best for me. I love this flag. So what do you do? First, dig your hole, then take your 12 inch nipple stick it in the hole, and then put the concrete, the mixed concrete, in around the nipple. Get it level. Um, you have, after you put it in, I, I took a level and I stuck one of my poles, one of my um, 10 foot uh, chain link top rails um, into it. And then I put it straight up and down with a level and made sure that it was completely up and down. Now I should mention at this point that you're gonna cut one of those poles in half. I actually cut it six foot so i took the six foot section and i'm using that plus the other section so then when you stick it in the ground it's exactly 15 feet up from the ground while you're waiting for the concrete to set uh, which i recommend give it two three days before you uh, put the flagpole in you can go ahead and prepare the long pole um, i took the long pole that i didn't cut in half and up toward the top I drilled a quarter inch hole through it, stuck my two eye bolts through, that, through, through those two holes. Of course, the eye bolts that I bought were too long, so I sawed off the ends of them, but you can save yourself trouble by just buying the right size, the right length of eye bolt. Um, then once you have those on, I um, experimented with the quick links and then the carabiners, and I thought that the flag was kind of saggy and I didn't like the way it looked. So I took the quick links out and I just put carabiners straight onto the eye bolts and then I connected those carabiners to the flag. Now for the top of the pole, you need a cap of some sort because you don't want water going down inside of your pole. I like the look. It's kind of a, I don't know what you call it, but I like the look of these plumbing caps, these one and a quarter inch caps um, that I got with the nipples, with the nipple singular. Um, so I put some electrical tape around the top of the pole, right above where the flag is, and then I screwed the uh, cap right onto there. And I think it looks pretty sweet. If you're not familiar with how these chain link top rails work, they have a tapered end on one side and that's how they stick together. So I ended up sticking the six foot length pole, the one that I cut four feet off of, into the ground, into the nipple. Um, and I did cut the side with the tapered end off. So that part is junk, but I have six feet of top rail pole that both ends are the same. I put that into the nipple. Then I took the 10 foot length, the tapered end goes into that. And on the other end is where the flag and the top cap are. Even though I just made this flag pole and it's only just finished, I can tell you that it will last, that it's sturdy, that it will stand up to the elements and the wind and everything else because my dad has almost the exact same flagpole on his property now for several years, and it has stood up wonderfully. So if you like this solution, 
Um, and if you make this flagpole, please tell me about it in the comments. I'd love to hear how it worked out for you. Um, enjoy your flagpole. Enjoy showing your patriotism, um, etc. We'll see you soon, gents. Mm -hmm.